Hi, it's Jane Evans here, UK's Childhood Anxiety Interpreter. Two things that always come up when I'm talking with people about consequences, should we use them, shouldn't we use them, surely children need them, is number one, well Jane, when you're an adult, life is full of consequences. So children need to learn early on that life is tough and that your actions have a reaction and a consequence. Yeah, is that really true though? So I often talk about when we drive in a car and I ask people, you know, especially if I have a big audience of people, put your hands up who was speeding in their car today. And oh my goodness, <laughs> pretty much every hand goes up in the room. And then I might ask, who got caught speeding this morning in your car? Mm, usually no hands go up. Uh, or I might ask, did you know that you shouldn't be speeding and that if you get caught, the consequence will be a big fat fine? And of course, everyone's hands go up again. So that's a, a very simple example of how, yes, as adults, we're very well aware of the law, but we don't necessarily follow it. We often also tell little lies. You know, children ha might hear us on the phone saying, oh yeah, I, I would love to meet you for dinner. Yes, that's great. No, I'm really looking forward to it. Whereas 10 minutes earlier, they heard us saying, oh, I can't stand that woman. And I hope she doesn't ask me out for dinner. Uh, was there a consequence for your behaviour? Well, no, because your child's probably not going to tell on you unless she gets near the woman. <laughs> Who knows? It may fall out of their mouths then. But my point is that it isn't a reality. Very often we do things as adults and not much happens, even things that are against the law. We don't necessarily get caught for. So that's a bit of a false route to go down as, as a justification for making a child experience emotional and physical discomfort or even pain. The second thing people always ask me about is, well, but what about natural consequences? So, for example, if my child keeps on leaving their shoes out and I'm sick of punishing on them all the time, should I just leave the shoes there so that eventually they fall over them? Or if I notice that they, even though I have reminded them and I've offered them some stickers and I've also said that they're going to lose their playtime if they keep on forgetting to put their pencil case in their school bag, then should I just let them go to school without their pencils and get into trouble with their teacher and because that way they'll learn? Well, again... <laughs> I'm a bit puzzled by this because, you know, if my friend was leaving the house and she was about to leave her phone and I know she really needs her phone and she's going to be in a lot of trouble if she doesn't have it, well, what would I do? I would, of course, even though I might have just reminded her earlier, oh, don't forget your phone and have you got your phone and might have done a lot of phone reminding and she still forgot it because, you know what, she just made a mistake. I would of course pick up the phone and go after her and very kindly give it to her and probably have a bit of a joke about it. Uh, likewise, if, oh I don't know, say I'd been messaging my other half and saying please, please, please can you bring some pasta home for dinner, we really need pasta, my whole creation uh, relies on pasta and they got in and they didn't have the pasta then and they suddenly remember they were like oh i'm so sorry oh, oh my oh you know i'm not going to pile in and make them feel worse and say well as a consequence you know you can just have some salad for dinner tonight i'm going to throw the rest of the food no of course i wouldn't i'd i'd say oh it would have been really helpful but mm, oh you know what i'll just bung some rice in with it so do you get my point like <laughs> it all comes from this place of believing that by making children suffer in some way on some level it it teaches them but it will teach them the wrong things it will teach oh when i really struggled and i made a mistake the person i love most in the universe did not have my back so i shan't really i can't really expect anyone else to have my back and I must just struggle in life and um, feel really bad when I'm such an idiot and I do things. These are not lessons that we want our children to have. We want to be there to teach them. Okay, so we forgot the pencil case and how do we feel about that? And how might the teacher feel? Oh, okay, so we need a plan for this. 
um, I'm going to really help you. Um, we'll make this plan and we'll put it into practice together and we'll just keep going in, until, you know, it's just another thing that eventually you'll just learn and you'll remember. So it's no biggie. That's a much better way to go forward with our children, isn't it? Let me know what you think and how you're getting on with this idea of teaching children with compassion and connection rather than employing consequences that cause that disconnection from you. Hope that's helpful and any more information you want, just pop on my website, all the w's dot thejaneevans.com.